Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video will be a quick short case revision on pediatrics abdominal station, which a commonly seen case is thalassemia. On general inspection of the child, we expect to see some slight grey hyperpigmentation. However, this is very subjective and we don't mention it if we are not sure. The patient might also have a short stature, but we can say um, she, she or he looks smaller than age, but we would like to confirm by plotting on the growth chart. On the hands, they might have finger clubbing, which suggests for chronic liver disease, and also feel for any bounding pulse to suggest for anemia, which is seen in thalassemia. For the face, some of the thalassemic features are like frontal bossing, prominent malar eminence, pallor or jaundice, and also interdental separation, which is also called as mild occlusion of the teeth. On the abdomen, we can look for any injection marks, especially for Desferro, which is an iron chelation therapy after a few episodes of blood transfusion. We should also palpate the liver and spleen to look for hepatosplenomegaly. And if there is hepatosplenomegaly present, we must describe the surface, the border, and the consistency, whether it is firm or hard. For guys, we look for testicular atrophy, and also absent pubic hair. However, this depends on the patient's age or so, whether he or she has reached puberty. So in very small children, we don't look for these things. And testicular atrophy and absent pubic hair is commonly seen in chronic liver disease. After doing the physical examination, we can say that we would like to complete the examination by checking the dextrostic to look for diabetes mellitus, doing cardiovascular examination to look for cardiomyopathy, and also to plot the growth chart to confirm the growth of the child. So after finishing physical examination, these are some of the questions that the examiner might ask. So how do you differentiate between the liver, the spleen, and the kidney? And how do you know that the mass you palpated is which? So for hepatomegaly, we will be unable to get our hands above the mass because it is at the right costal margin, so we cannot palpate above the mass. And the liver moves with respiration, so when the patient inhale, the mass will move downwards and touch our palpating hands. And liver is also dull on percussion. So if you want to compare liver with the kidney, for kidney, we can get above the mass. And kidneys are balotable, there is no notch, and on percussion, just now the liver is dull on percussion, but kidney will be resonant on percussion. Whereas for splenomegaly, the spleen will be at the left costal margin. We are also unable to get above it. It moves inferior medially with respiration towards the right, in, right iliac fossa. It's dull to, on percussion and we can feel the splenic notch at the inferior middle part. So to compare with the kidneys, the special thing will be we can feel the kidneys, we cannot feel any notch. So liver and spleen will be dull on percussion whereas kidney will be resonant on percussion. And this table summarizes how we differentiate between these three. The examiner might also ask you, uh, depending on what case you got and what are the findings. So if in the exam case, if there is hepatosplenomegaly, they might ask for your differential diagnosis. So these are the causes that might cause both enlargement of the liver and spleen with the mnemonic vitamin H. So first, vascular causes such as chronic liver disease causing portal hypertension, Infective causes like hepatitis or malaria, trauma causing hematoma, autoimmune disease like rheumatoid arthritis or SLE, metabolic conditions like glycogen storage disorder, infiltrative disorders such as amyloidosis or sarcoidosis, neoplasia such as leukemia or lymphoma, and H is the hemolytic anemia. If in another case, the liver is not palpable but only the spleen is palpable, then the examiner may ask you for the differential diagnosis of only splenomegaly. So this is the mnemonic, which consists of congestion due to portal hypertension, hemolytic anemia such as hematological disorders like thalassemia or hereditary spherocytosis, infection like malaria or infective endocarditis, neoplasia like lymphoma or leukemia, and autoimmune disease like SLE. This will cause the enlargement of the spleen. In another scenario, 
is where the liver is palpable but spleen is not palpable. So differential diagnosis of hepatomegaly include chronic hepatitis, portal hypertension, thalassemia or sickle cell anemia, leukemia lymphoma, hepatoblastoma, which is a tumor in the liver, glycogen and lipid storage hepatomegaly. So this is all for this video. Thank you.